What you got? Mail time. Mail time. Now, mail now, time keep, it, keep it PG. The hip moves, that was like Elvis kind of stuff. Hey, it's Dr. Paul. This is our very first mail time. We just put this up this last week. Yeah. And we got mail. So guys, we started a P.O. Box so that our viewers, fans, uh, companies, anyone who's interested in us for any reason can either send us yeah, letters or they can send us packages with products they want us to, to check out or look into or review or try. Uh, letters we're going to read out loud if we you're are. just a fan. Let's see what we got. Dad! We hope that you guys want to participate in the future, but we wanted to instantly give kudos to people that took the time to write us or send us stuff. Let's start with the box. And lastly, if you want to be a part of this, just check the description below for the P.O. Box. He doesn't want to do this the stuff. Detail person. Yeah, if you check the description below for the P.O. Box, and you can be on our channel as well. Okay, we're gonna get into this mail. This is this is a high quality letter opener, you guys. So this is a letter from Brooke. Brooke is from San Antonio, Texas. Dear Paul and Noah, Dr. Paul and Noah. Hi, my name is Brooke. I'm 12 years old. Oh, yes, from Texas. I'm writing you this letter because number one, I just found you got a P.O. box. Number two, I wanted to thank you. I've always wanted to become a doctor ever since I was five. I've been having a bit of trouble figuring out what kind of doctor I want to be. I'm deciding between a pediatrician, a pediatric neurologist, and a pediatric oncologist. <laughs> Pediatrics, yes. Yeah. So you guys know I'm mostly a pediatrician. I also do some other things, but nice, nice uh, choice, Brooke. Especially if you like kids, pediatrics is the way to go. She she writes better than I write, and she's tall. Oh, her handwriting is better than both of ours combined. Look at that. Do you all have any thoughts? I know I have a long time to decide. I wanted to thank you because I look up to you. You inspire me to work hard every day. I love watching your videos. They brighten my day. So thanks again, Dr. Paul and Noah. Best letter ever. Just enjoy the journey. Work hard, but try to have fun while you're doing it. And as far as what kind of doctor to be, honestly, you don't even have to worry about it, as you said, but pediatrics, that's a good start. Thanks so much, I'm proud of you, Brooke. You just keep being you. All right, no. letter number two. There you go, sir. This one is from Miguel. Dear Dr. Paul, my name is Miguel. I'm from Los Angeles, California. I find your videos very inspiring and educational. I hope you never quit making these videos. I hope so too. They are very enjoyable and helpful to many people, including myself. I also hope that you can continue to inspire more people who desire to become doctors like myself. In addition, I hope to meet you someday in person. In the meantime, I would like for you to give me your autograph on this other separate piece of paper. Thank you so much. Autograph. I oh think we can gosh. do that. That's a, that's a clever idea. Wishing you success and happiness. All the best, Dr. Paul. Sign my chest. All right, Dr. Paul. Oh, I actually did. <laughs> you actually just wrote on my shirt. Well, you said to sign your chest. Gosh, you take things so literal. The box, what could it be? I have no idea. Sounds fragile. <laughs> This is Temp Track. Oh, continuous, continuous temp, temp monitoring. Something from Temp Track. This is way cool. So we have a book. Let me see. Who's it I from? Don't, I don't have my glasses. Um, You're so old sometimes. Oh, this is a great looking kids' books, you guys. This is amazing. These are both super appropriate for a pediatric office. Thanks so much for the gifts. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. I'm behind. So you're going to read that story. At least start it. Oh, oh here, go ahead. I saw that. This guy's nuts. No, Dad, go to work. I need you to go to work. Yeah. All, All right. right. Well, I can't get... I, I, ah, finally, he actually does have to go to work. And I imagine half of you are no longer going to view this. But for those that want to stay. So again, this is the book that we just got. Out of Twist Scientists. Ooh, a New York Times bestseller. Adam Marie, Adam Marie said not a word till the day she turned three. She bounced in her crib and looked all around, observing the world, but not making a sound. She learned how to climb and make her big break with a trail of chaos left in her wake. She ran through the day chasing each sound and sight and didn't slow down till she conked out at night. I'm gonna make such a good dad, I feel it. Her parents were frazzled. You guys see? Her parents are frazzled. Her parents were frazzled but tried not to freak as Ada grew bigger and still did not speak. Clearly young Ada with lots in her head would have something to say when it ought to be said. That just, that's just what happened when Ada turned three. She tore through the house on a fact-finding spree. 
I think that's a good point, a good spot to end this book. If you guys want to finish this book, go check this book out. I'm sure you can find it online or at your local bookstore. Thank you to whomever sent it. We've got a gift receipt, but I, I honestly don't have a name on this. So please make sure you let us know very clearly who you are if you want us to be able to give you a shout out and acknowledge you. Otherwise, this is a humble beginning to our mail time series. Thank you, Miguel, for sending your letter. Thank you so much, Brooke, for sending your letter. Thank you guys for watching and supporting the channel and being a part of this. It's special to us. We appreciate it. I appreciate it. Each and every day, you make my life better and Dr. Thomas's life better. And, and all jokes aside, I'm so glad that I can share him, my dad, with you. He's a special person. You guys are amazing. And I'm so happy to be a part of this. We'll see you guys at the next installment of Mail Time. Ding!